And welcome back to part two of answering the February questions. What was the first game you ever played? And my, uh, my second one, have you played with Barbies? Oh, cringe. That's asked by Soul Flayed. Um, the first game I ever played, I can't remember. It was, the thing was, I played a lot of awesome games on the Atari, and I wish, I wish I could remember the names of them, because I would love to get my hands on them again. But I can't honestly remember the name of them. I'll try and explain a few. Right, um, one of the games there was like a map. Um, I've seen similar games to it, but it wasn't quite like it. It's basically where I had to go around this map in a car, and other cars would come after me. Now I'm sure you're all thinking, "Oh yeah, I've seen that game." But no, the thing were the cop, uh, the police cars used to come from the top right corner instead of spawn from the banks which I'm guessing most of you have seen or whatever you normally went um, and like also on the Commodore 64 Bubble Bobble was one of the first games I've played and naturally no it weren't but that's one of the first games I got addicted to I absolutely used to love that game and when I found the secret levels I was like oh my god that was epic um, first PC game I ever played I don't know actually because the thing where my first PC sucked so I'm not sure technically why it was, was some snake game I'm going to have to put it down to but my first computer had like a 33 megahertz um, CPU so like even a Nintendo emulator would lag on it, it was awful but anyway, second bit, have you ever played with Barbies? I haven't, but like, um, I don't know if you've got them in America or wherever you're from Seoul but stuff called Action Man, I did used to play with those um, especially mainly a lot with one of my nephews um, it was around the time Toy Story came out because I remember like basically we used to create Toy Story we'd, like pretend we'd disappear and then we'd pretend the action men came to life even though we were moving them and we were still there I'd pretend we weren't and they were doing stuff like and then we'd pretend we'd come back and they'd just like drop and we'd be like oh how did they get here and all this it was I don't know quite lame but so fun at the time that's not a question yay told you guys Dan MC Don asks, "Can you do an LP vid of Sims 3 World Adventures and slash or I and love stuff, please?" Right. Um, I honestly don't know. The thing is, like, if you look towards the end of my Sims 3 LP, I was getting bored of it. To be honest, I still haven't got any desire yet to do Sims 3. Um, I was going to do an LP. Um of Sims 3 where it was me and at the time now my ex well one of my exes um, Dawn she used to be into karate and um, there was basically a karate thing so I was gonna like get her to the top of that career thing and just make a family like that and just play through it I was gonna do that but I've not sort of got any ideas at the moment what to do so maybe if they bring out another expansion pack of something, maybe with pets, or... I don't know, I'll probably do it when they bring out an expansion pack I want to play, and then I'll get everything previous to it, just so it gives me all the content. So for now, I won't, but I'm not ruling it out. Are you planning on... Oops... Draconian... That's a cool name. Draconian Silenced asks, Are you planning on upgrading your computer parts soon, and if so, what parts? Yeah. I'm not sure because I could be going to America which is going to cost quite a bit of money because it's like for three weeks and that's Florida for any of you asking which would be pretty cool actually if some of you guys are there but anyway um, I do want to upgrade my computer even though I can play every game out so far with like no lag at all with pretty high settings <coughs> Um, but basically the first thing I'm going to upgrade I think is going to be my graphics card um, which is two NVIDIA 8600 GTs in SLI and each have got one gig of memory on them which sounds a lot but it's like it's, I think it's DDR2 memory which isn't as good as DDR3 so I'm hoping to get like some two DDR5 really nice cards so I don't have to upgrade those ever again um, my CPU, um, again, dual core, 3.2 gig. I'd like quad core. 
I think now the time's come. Um, my RAM's 8GB of DDR2, which to be honest is fine. But if I have to get a new motherboard, I might just upgrade that to 8GB of DDR3, or maybe just 4GB of DDR3, I'm not sure. I don't really want to have to swap the RAM. So apart from that, there's not much. Maybe another um, hard drive, a 1TB hard drive inside my actual PC, because at the moment I'm using. If you can see, it's like that, which is basically one terabyte external. That's where all my YouTube vids are kept, and that's dusty. <laughs> right, so that's that one. Um, quick check of time, plenty of time. Half of rocks. What was your first console, and how old were you when you had it? Um, my first actual console was the Amiga. And God, I cannot remember. Um, but I was under three because I remember rough. Basically, yeah, it was like my childhood memories. I remember when I was three playing on the Nintendo, the NES, the original one, like a Mario and stuff, and that was my stepbrother. Um, so basically, I was below three, but I cannot remember the age. I've like always been brought up with gaming. But yeah, it was an Amiga. I can't even remember what number it were. Um, I don't know if that's an I am Lake or Lamb Lake asks. Can you play more? Oh, DF. Sorry, my TV's hard to see. Um, I will do the thing. Were it just basically? I don't know. People seem to just stop watching the videos. That's how it seemed to me anyway. So for now I've just put that on hold because I don't know, I just think you guys will lose an interest. But if you want to see more DF, I will get around to making more footage of it. <coughs> but for now it just seems like all you want is Fallout 3. Um, Geo asks, have I stopped doing streams? I haven't, but it's just my... Um, yeah, like, yesterday was the first Sunday I had off in ages, but as I said, I have been sick. I was just laying in bed all day yesterday. In fact, even worked it out in numbers. So wait, in the last 48 hours, I think I've slept 30 of them. And I've um, ate two pieces of meat, maybe that size, in the last 48 hours as well, and felt sick after eating them both times. So I didn't fancy doing a stream because I was really damn sick. Um. But I haven't stopped doing streams, it's just work. They keep wanting me to work on a Sunday night. Or like work on a Sunday and then when I get in it's like, hmm, it's like quite late already and I don't know, I just fancy chilling out rather than doing a stream. But I haven't stopped doing streams, it's just difficult to find time for them. But I will try and do some more, obviously. Oh, J-Dog asks, no, J-Dog9445 asks, TNA or WWE? Um, hmm, good question. Then again, I am I am a huge wrestling fan. And by a wrestling fan, yeah, I've got, oh, I don't think I've got enough time to answer all these, but I'll try. By a huge wrestling fan, I don't mean I, like, watch it, everything, it, uh, watch it every week, and I absolutely hate John Cena, and blah 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 blah. I like look at it from a business point of view. I look at I look I did do analyze quite a lot of stuff. I wish I didn't, but I am a very analytical person. But I love like the psychology of the stuff. I really have like looked into the professional side of it. Even thought about going to a school for it. I don't know yet what I'm doing about that still. But um so for me it's like I look at how good people work in the ring the chemistry and stuff, um, how well the cell moves, um, how good they are on the mic and stuff. So, I don't know, because I'm quite disappointed in um, TNA at the moment. Um, they're doing like uh, Hogan and Flair, that's their entire thing when they're going like head to head on Mondays. So, I'm really disappointed in that, because neither of them are any good in the ring, and I don't care what anyone says. Um, the match at WrestleMania where HBK and Flair, HBK made that match. Um, Flair w wasn't bad. I still think he'd got it, but only against HBK. It had to be like a huge match. 
other than that, he's too old and he needed to retire. And he did it, I thought, with dignity. I had respect for him, but now it's just like, no. Like, Hogan is such a glory hound as well. He's like, um, the only reason I think he's back with TNA is to further boost his career. And I do not care what anyone says about that. I don't th I don't think at all he really knows what he's doing. So far a lot of the matches he's booked um, have been pretty poor as well. It's just that TNA has got some incredible wrestlers, especially younger guys. Um, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe, and God there's just so many people just bored to sleep now by this. But they've got some really good wrestlers on there. And yeah, I'm out of time, damn it. I'll answer the rest of your questions in the next video. But anyway, my favourite would have to be WWE due to the base, due to the fact the best storylines are better in my opinion. But TNA's wrestlers, I do think are better. They will prepare to work and they'll love the company more. So yeah, I'm going to finish answering your questions in the next part.